So that makes a lot of sense. And together we'll figure this out, right? All right. <laughs> if not, we'll pretend like we did and we'll get good grades. Uh, <laughs> but if we, but uh, that was a joke. Okay, interval level. <laughs> interval level. Okay, somebody explain interval to me and it's up on the board. Use the example of the racer, the, guy, the guy's racing. Similar to the ordinal level, there's a first, second, third, fourth, with additional property that meaningful amounts of differences between the data values can be determined. There is no neut neutral zero point. Well, that's the second part you asked about. <laughs> here's, here's what we're talking about. Uh, first off, explain it from the book's point of view, whoever has that. Okay. Okay. Is that is there any more information than that, or is that all it has? Okay, so let's see if we can make that um, make sense. First off, it's ranked. Second, you have some data to go along with it. You actually know where it appears in the ranking, and, and you can quantify the data. Uh, what you said that there are some definable units in which to use, and so so interval data talks a little bit more about. Um, the the actual values that makes it first, and the actual values that make it second, make it highest, and make it lowest, and and the point that you made that that there are definable units. Uh, that's that's in the case of degrees, I guess you'd look at degrees. It wouldn't be continuous necessarily. That's way I that's way I, that's way it looks like to me. But could you have continuous interval data from what you read? From the, what the book said, yeah, it, it looks like you could, but at the same time, the kind of there's a contradiction with how the book describes it a little bit. I think. It's, okay, so the constant union could be infinity and in, in infinitely small, right? So, but there's there's a, a degree or a portion of the degree or a portion of that degree. I guess you could look at as continuous. But that's kind of hard to see. But anyway, here's all you have to worry about: interval. Intervals ranked, and you have data to go along with it. Okay. Ordinals ranked, they don't have data to go along with it. It's like, what's your favorite? What's your favorite apple? Well, okay, I like the Fuji apple. Well, how does that compare with the Macintosh? I like Fuji better than Macintosh. Well, what, do you, what about Granny Smith? Well, that's third. Well, there's not a way to, to measure that, but there's, all, there's a ranking in, in what I like. And the interval is like, where's the coldest temperature in the U.S. today? Well, that's here, and it's zero degrees. What's the hottest temperature in the U.S. today? Well, that's 100 degrees. Well, you can measure that, right? It's not based on opinion. It's based on units to measure. Yeah, and that would be interval. The 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 um, right the the ordinals rank, but doesn't have data, and it's all in your book. You don't have to you don't have to retype this because you just all right. Now ratio the interval uh, level with an inherent zero starting point. Okay, differences and ratios are meaningful 
for this level of measurement. So in the other, you have a measurement, but you also have ratio. A ratio, you can have a zero percentage. Miles traveled by sales representative in a month. Well, could that ever be a zero? Could be. And you could have a percentage point, right? Let's see if there's other examples. What I want you to do is I want you to, yeah, this isn't my PowerPoint, these are from the book. Okay, so now I want you to find it in the book and tell me uh, what the book says. Okay. Do that and I'll bring up the next one. You found it on page 12. I heard that. <laughs> 